All right, so let's uh, actually talk about the example from the arc lens. Okay, so it's arc lens. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, before we start to talk about the arc lens problems, let's actually review the uh, what that called the arc lens. formula okay so it says uh, is uh, you know if you uh, have a function so the formula actually is very straightforward it's uh, actually it's uh, integral from a to b square root of 1 plus the derivative of the given function uh, and then square it and then dx okay so that's the Arcland's formula of course you can rewrite it into 1 plus um, dy dx squared dx that's also okay sometimes you know if uh, the curve what it what it gives to you uh, is uh, in terms of y so you might consider to alternate this arc lens formula into uh, a, a dy form okay so that is well um, maybe we can use another one let's see from c to d so this is y from c to d okay so it gonna be comes into one plus actually it's dx dy square and then to doing this dy okay so that's the review and then now let's uh, look at one example here so example one I'll find the links of the curve, okay, which is x equals y to the power of force over 4 um, plus 1 over 8y squared, okay, and then from y equals 1 to y equals 4, okay, so that's the question here, uh, we're going to show you here, so you can see in this example what the, the, the equation of the curve is x equals in terms of y. So, and then it gives us y from 1 to 4. So we're going to apply actually in this format to, to handle this problem. So to do that, we know that we need to find the derivative um, of x with respect to y, and then square that, and then plus 1, and then we can evaluate uh, this uh, integral. So, so to start with, we have dx dy, which is the derivative of this, which gives us is y cube. Okay, based on this, uh, um, the um, right, the power rule of the derivative, and then same thing for here. Uh, this one over y square. You can think of this is well. We can write it into y four over four, and then plus one over eight times y to the power of negative two. So we can also apply power rule to handle this. So that is 1 over 8 times negative 2 times y to the power of negative 3. Okay. So, uh, so it turns out that after a simplification, we got a y cubed minus 1 over 4 y to the power of negative 3. So that's what we get. Okay. And then, so we got this part. The next step is to calculate 1 plus dx dy squared. So 1 plus dx dy squared, which is 1 plus y cubed minus y over 4, y to the power of negative 3 squared. Okay, so we can expand this into 1 plus y6 minus 2 times y cubed times y over 4. Okay, and then plus... Uh, negative 1 over 4 y negative cube squared so you can see that in this part y cube and y negative 3 they become y to the power of 0 which uh, turns out to be to be 1 okay and then uh, so let's so 1 plus y 6 this part is 2 times y over 4 is half okay and for this part is 1 over 16 y to the power of negative 6. So that's what we got so far. 
And uh, keep in mind, this part, it is the expanded uh, expression from this square. Okay. And, uh, and it turns out that, you see guys, if I calculate those constants together, so it's going to be y6 plus y over 2, right? Plus y over 16, y to the power of negative 6. Now, right, why I want to keep uh, writing this form? Because if you do a comparison here, look at those two. The only difference is uh, the sign in the middle expression, right? From negative 1 over 2 becomes into positive 1 over 2. And uh, from here, we actually can get some um, inspiration, you know, from the original square form. Because uh, keep in mind, what we are calculating now, uh, we're going to put this inside of a square root. Okay, so if inside of a square root can be written into a perfect square form, and then that is going to help us a lot to simplify this problem. And uh, you see, this is minus, this is plus. So it turns out that we can rewrite this, mimic this format into y cube minus uh, plus 1 over 4 y to the power of negative 3 squared. Okay. So you can easily to verify that. The first square gives you this, uh, the last square gives you this, and then if you have 2 times this, and then times this y over 4 y to the power of negative 3, it turns out it's uh, um, y over 2, okay? So with this, things going to become very uh, easy to handle, because the formula uh, integral Keep in mind, y is from 1 to 4, so let's write it down. 1 to 4, and I have a square root of this, and this square, so it cancel out. It's, so let me maybe write it down here. dy, that is 1 over 4, y cubed plus 1 over 4, y to the power of negative cubed, dy. And you can see that this definite integral, is, uh, it shouldn't be that challenging, okay? So we can evaluate this into, the, the antiderivative of this is y4 over 4, okay? And then uh, the uh, antiderivative for this one is, actually it's 1 over 4 uh, times y to the power of, actually negative 2, over negative 2, okay? And then you can evaluate from 1 to 4, okay? So maybe we can use uh, a, a, a new page to, to do that. So, so let's uh, use a new page, okay, to continue this. And uh, hold on. Let me... Put it here, okay. So let's continue this. It turns out this is going to be y4 over 4, okay, and then it's minus 1 over 8 uh, y to the power of negative 2, okay, and then it's from 1 to 4, or maybe it's a y4 over 4 minus 1 over 8 y squared, you know, from 1 to 4, okay. And then the rest part is just doing the calculation here. So plug 4 in. So 4, 4 over 4 minus 1 over 8 times 4 squared minus 1, 4 over 4 minus 1 over 8 times 1 squared. And this is 4 cubed, okay? And uh, this is minus uh, 8 times 16 give us is uh, 128, okay? And then this part is, uh, maybe it still use a bracket, minus, this is 1 over 4, minus 1 over 8, okay? So it turns out this is 4 cubed minus 128, and this part is 1 over, or 2 over 8 minus 1 over 8. So, uh, you know, this is just a calculation, uh, 128. It turns out this is 1 over 8, and then minus 1 over 8. Okay, and uh, we can do the calculation because 4 cubed is 64. 
if uh, so we have a 64 minus 128 minus 1 over 8 and we can do even more okay so this is what we can uh, what we can do so we can do 64 times 128 over 128 minus 128 minus uh, you know so this is 128 on the top it will be 16 okay it will be 16 turns out 64 times 128 is going to be 8192 okay and then you minus 1 minus 16 over 128 Oops. okay and then uh, so after you do this calculation it will give you 8 1175 over 128 okay so and then uh, we're done okay so uh, thank you for watching